And periodontal disease, we re, um, just to review, is all of the things that have to do with the tooth's attachment in the alveolar bone. So our periodontal structures are the cementum of the tooth, the periodontal ligament, the alveolar bone, and the gingiva, which of course the gingiva is not something that we're going to be really examining with CT. We're going to be using our clinical exam with a mirror or an uh, oral scope to look at that. But the other structures we can start to take a look at pretty close. And in the periodontal ligament, we're going to be looking at the width of that. So an increase in the periodontal ligament width can be related to periodontal disease horizontal bone loss between, so that's the bone in this formation. So if we see the bone dropping away or quite a bit away from a tooth in, in a horizontal fashion, that's horizontal bone loss. Our deep pocketing that we have between teeth is often a vertical bone loss or we can have combinations of that. And then if we have a very deep periodontal infection that travels down alongside a tooth and actually infects around the apex of a tooth, that's a perioendo lesion. And then the hallmark on your clinical exam for periodontal disease is usually a diastema, which we can see that this horse has one here. And then we had food impaction here. So this eight was our concern. And what had actually happened in this case is that we had food travel down and we caused a huge periodontal infection with an endodontic infection of this nine tooth and then a big draining tract out the bottom. So this was all on the medial side of this horse's jaw. The lateral side of this horse's jaw was entirely normal. And this just was a very, um, long, it, was, it had been going on for several months and was so advanced that when we actually cultured the bone from this region and some of these sequestra, we grew an actinomyces uh, bacteria. So it was, this horse lived on doxycycline for months until we got this cleared up, but we ended up extracting the eight and the nine tooth based on all of our views here. But I think CT, we forget to use it sometimes or we don't consider using it in periodontal disease. And I'd like to see that change because I've been fascinated how much more problems we can see with CT in these periodontal cases and how deep these pockets really go than I can even say on an intraoral radiograph. So even with an intraoral radiograph, we can get high definition of this area, but this um, this really brings to light the, the extent of the damage that's happening. So then I made a few uh, 3D reconstructs here and kind of bone windows and soft tissue windows that actually shows how advanced this was on the medial side of this mandible. So we had this at eight all the way back along this horse's um, back to the 10 tooth and then down between eight and nine and then was coming out through the mandible. And you can see here the the changes, but the lateral side of this horse's mandible is entirely normal.